The DRDO has said that the development of Netremark to airborne early warning and control system based on Airbus A321 aircraft for Indian Air Force will be completed by 2027. A picture has emerged on social media that shows INS Airy Hunt SSB and Salvo firing submarine launched ballistic missiles on the move. The DRDO has unveiled a modified version of its SWAP 8x8 armored personnel carrier, equipped with a BMP-2 turret and the Concorde anti-tank guided missile. The Indian Navy has been awarded a patent for a solvent-free anti-corrosive epoxy resin composition specifically designed for coating applications, that will enhance the durability and longevity of naval vessels. An Indian Air Force pilot has developed an artificial intelligence-driven aircraft inspection system that will help in reducing the accidents that earlier used to happen due to human errors. A veteran naval officer retired Rear Admiral K. Raja Menon has said that India will require a total of 16 nuclear attack submarines equipped with long-range attack cruise missiles by 2047, out of which at least four would be necessary to effectively operate in the South China Sea. Russia is actively seeking to enhance its interactions with Indian defense officials regarding the Su-75 single-engine stealth fighter jet, and Russia is keen to solidify a government-to-government -government deal with India for the Su-75 powered by the latest AL-51 F-1 true fifth-generation engines, which could only materialize at the expense of cancelling the MRFA tender. Russian officials have indicated their readiness to offer transfer of technology and local production rights including establishing an exclusive production line within India, that would not only cater to the Indian Air Force, but also serve export markets, effectively making the aircraft Indian, due to the absence of a dedicated production line in Russia. Russian officials are confident that the developmental cycle of the Su-75 can be expedited to just three years, as many of the components have already been tested and certified by the Su-57 program. While General Electric has agreed to 80% transfer of technology for F-414 engines to Hindustan Aeronautics, but they have not disclosed the specific details of the 20% of the technology that will not be transferred. It has been confirmed that the casting process for the single crystal blade will be retained by General Electric, along with software for the full authority digital engine control system, allowing the company to maintain and protect its intellectual property rights. The DRDO has already developed directionally solidified and single crystal blades and veins for aero gas turbine engines, and this technology being withheld, is not being seen as a deal breaker for the Indian companies, as India might likely use Indian developed tech to replace them shortly, so that 100% of the engine parts and components can be locally manufactured. Tato Advanced Systems has developed a new truck-mounted howitzer based on its ATAGS variant, that will compete with the ATAGS-based mounted gun system of the Kalyani Group. It will have a range of 600 km without refueling, and a top speed of 85 km per hour, and the ordnance used in the howitzer has been optimized for the 52 caliber 155 mm ballistic system, that are of the extended range type, providing increased range and target effectiveness compared to existing systems. Today's top 3 comments 